What are my hopes for her future? I think what's most important to me is that she's healthy and happy. I want them to be responsible and respectful and successful. Curious about the world, someone who loves learning, to give back to her community. I want my child to have the opportunity to follow his dream, whatever that is. I am really very open about what they want to be in the future. I want them to be whatever they want to be. Every child deserves the chance to reach their full potential. And as science continues to advance our understanding of child development and of the human brain, we know that the seeds of a healthy, successful life are planted in the early years. From day one, babies are born learning. Their brains are growing and developing at an amazing rate. In the first five years, faster than any other time in life. And how a child's brain develops in these early years will have a huge and lasting impact on their future. At birth, a baby brain is only a quarter of the size of an adult brain, but will double in size during the first year. By age three, it will grow to almost 80% of adult size and 90% by the time a child starts kindergarten. And while the brain is growing in size, it's also forming billions of connections. These connections between brain cells are what really make the brain work. And as the child grows and develops, the brain cells connect with each other in more complex ways. Different areas are responsible for different abilities, but they're all interconnected. They all contribute to the child's overall health and well-being. These early brain connections set the stage for higher level skills to develop later on, like motivation, focus, problem solving, and getting along with others. Things that really make a difference in a person's ability to learn and do well in school and in life. The first few years of life are the best opportunity to develop this network of brain connections. It's much harder later on. Connections that are used more often become stronger, while those that are not used are eventually eliminated, making the brain more efficient. Building brain connections is like building muscles. Use it or lose it. But these vital connections are not made automatically. They don't just happen. So how does healthy brain development happen? through positive, stable, nurturing relationships with parents and caring adults. Study after study shows that caring interaction, stimulation, and love during their first few days, weeks, months, and years help a child feel safe and secure and help their brain develop a strong, healthy network of connections. Unfortunately, the opposite is also true. Neuroscience shows the dramatic impact of persistent negative experiences and toxic stress. Fewer brain connections develop, and at a slower rate. They also reinforce negative brain connections. Too many of Arizona's youngest kids face the kind of challenges that make it difficult for healthy brain development, like hunger and neglect. The evidence is clear. Positive, nurturing experiences in their early years help children feel safe and secure and go on to be healthier and more successful in school and in life. They tend to have better language, math, and social skills. They're more likely to graduate. They're more prepared for college and career and to be contributing members of their communities. And that's why Arizonans created First Things First, to partner with families and communities to support the health, development, and learning of our state's youngest children. First Things First supports programs focused on strengthening families, quality early education, and preventive health for children from birth to age five. Because we all share the responsibility of giving our children a good start in life. And we all benefit when kids arrive at kindergarten healthy and ready to succeed. Their success will be our success. I'm just really excited for his future. It's amazing to watch him develop into a complete, independent little human. I hope she changes the world. That's the ultimate goal, right?